Okay, we're still talking about percentages, and in this lesson we're talking about some real-world applications, some problems that involve percentages. And in this one we're told that a population of rabbits in a forest increases by 30% each year. There are 1,500 rabbits now. How many rabbits will there be in three years? Well, we're going to do this problem in three steps, one for each year. So here's the setup for the first year, and it'll be very similar for the second and third. We need to calculate the increase in the population. The population starts out at 1,500 and increases by 30%, so we need to calculate 30% of 1,500, and that's going to be 0 0.30 times 1,500. 0 0.30 is 30%. So when we do the calculation, that comes out to 450. That's the 30% increase, so we need to add that to the initial amount. So we had 1,500 and now we're adding 450 and that comes out to 1950 rabbits that's the population at the end of the first year now the end of the first year is the beginning of the second year so let's go on to the second year and do the calculation here the second year the population increases by 30 percent again but now it's 30 percent of this 30 percent of the new population here so I'm going to calculate 0 0.30 times 1950 and when I do that that comes out to be 585 now look at these numbers the first year the growth in population was 450 the second year it's substantially larger the growth in population is bigger even though the growth rate is the same 30 percent in each case there's more there's a larger increase the second year because there are more rabbits multiplying the second year so I need to now to calculate the population at the end of the second year I need to add that 585 to my original 1950 remember that 1950 was what I started the second year with and then I gained another 585 rabbits so at the end of the second year there are 2535 rabbits now we'll do the third year. Well, the growth rate is still 30%. Remember, we were told that it grows by 30% each year. So in this case, I'm, I'm going to calculate 30% or 0 0.30 times this number, 2,535. And that comes out to, it comes out to 760.5. I'm going to round that because obviously partial rabbits aren't born. So now that's the increase in population the third year. So remember my third year started out with 2,535. So I'm going to take that number, 2,535, and add the growth there of 761 more rabbits. And that comes out to 3,296. 3,296 at the end of three years. One thing to note is that we started out with 1,500. We ended with 3,296. The rabbit population more than doubled in three years. At a 30% growth rate, there's a fairly rapid increase in the amount of rabbits. And I'm, I'm actually not a biologist. I don't know exactly how fast rabbits multiply. And it, it's different for different types of rabbits no doubt but 30 percent might actually be kind of low they might multiply much faster than that assuming there's no predators and plenty of food to eat but you can see that the population growth increases and that the rate of growth increases over time here's a good example involving calculating a tip at a restaurant you go to a restaurant and pay twenty eight dollars and seventy cents for a meal and you want to tip the waiter 15%. How large a tip should you give the waiter? Well, it's going to be 15% of $28.70. So 15% of $28.70, that's going to be 0.15 times 28.7. And when you do the math, you take out the calculator here. I'll calculate 0.15 times 
and I get 4.305 and I'll round that to four dollars and thirty one cents or you might want to round it to four dollars and thirty cents if, especially if you're giving a cash tip so 430 or 431 now the thing is though in a restaurant you don't usually have a calculator so it's nice to be able to do a quick estimate there's not necessarily a set rule on exactly how much you're supposed to tip so a quick estimate would be sufficient in this case so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna calculate 15 percent of thirty dollars and 15 percent of thirty dollars I'm taking the cost of the meal there and just rounding it up to approximately thirty dollars so here's how I'm gonna think about this I'm gonna say ten percent 10% of $30, that's easy to do. 10% of $30 is just $3. And then 5% of $30 would be half of that, because 5 is half of 10. So the 5% of $30 would be half of my 3. So that would be $1.50. And if I want 15%, I can just add those up. That gives me 15% would be those two added together. So that would be 450. And that type of thinking you can do in your head pretty rapidly without a calculator. You've got for a $30 meal, I can say, okay, 10% of that is three, three dollars, and then add half of that again. So half of three is a dollar fifty. Add those together and I get four fifty. And, and notice that's pretty close to an actual actual calculation. So you can do something like that quickly in your head and get a good a good number and you can tip the waiter four dollars and fifty cents and that'll be fine.